It's half past one in the morning in Vidin, northern Bulgaria, and Captain Zvetan Zviatkov is approaching the end of a long voyage on the river Danube. Six days earlier, he and the crew of his ship, the Hanna Sparu, left southern Germany with a cargo of cars and heavy machinery. Inland waterways can offer a serious and environmentally sound alternative to road transport. Yet today, Europe's network of 37,000 kilometers of navigable rivers and canals is seriously underused. The company that operates Captain Zvyatkov's boat is one of the very few firms offering regular services this far south on the Danube. Реката в този отсек има огромен потенциал за развитие и всъщност една помощ от от всякъде от всички страни би била необходимия лост за началото на услуги в този район, които със сигурност ще увеличат и потенциала използваемостта на реката като метод за транспорт. There is major potential for developing Europe's inland waterways. Some experts say the amount of freight they transport could double. The European Union's Marco Polo program is keen to encourage this process as part of its efforts to ensure more freight in Europe is shifted away from roads. The program has provided assistance to the Bulgarian river service as part of this strategy. Education also has a key role to play in developing Europe's waterways. Students who are today training to work in the logistics industry must be aware that barges and river boats are a serious option. Further north on the Danube, this Viennese company has used Marco Polo funding to help develop an e-learning program designed to train future logistics managers to do just this. Wenn wir im Innen äh, im Binnenschifffahrtssektor nicht auf E-Learning umsteigen, dann hinken wir diesen anderen Sektoren, diesen anderen Bildungsbereich hinterher. Und äh, der Vorteil von E-Learning ist, dass man unabhängig von Zeit, Ort und äh, Platz, egal wo man ist, man kann jederzeit lernen. Developing inland waterway transport also involves technical challenges. Here in Magdeburg in eastern Germany, water levels on the Elbe can be very low in summer months. This means very large barges can't use the river. With help from Marco Polo, this company has developed a service that allows goods to be transferred quickly from small river boats to larger barges, which then continue their journey northwards using deep water canals. Ja, der ökologische Aspekt in unserem Projekt besteht in der Nutzung des Binnenschiffs. Das ist emissionsarm. Wir verlagern von der Straße auf das Schiff. Und wir nutzen einen Verkehrsweg, der vorhanden ist. Das ist ein natürlicher Fluss mit großen Kapazitätsreserven, sodass wir also auch hier Wachstum realisieren können. It is not Marco Polo's aim to single-handedly revitalize Europe's inland waterway sector. But by supporting innovative projects that show what is possible, it is playing an important role in helping to chart the way forward for Captain Zvyatkov and his colleagues.